Hello, I'm Cyber Settler and I'm with Java Engineer. Hello, people. So, today we are going to showcase the modules pack in the Space Engineers test lab. So we already made a, a review of the shunter that we are looking at right now with uh, Nomad. And basically this module is to move things around but also it could uh, be used as a generic cockpit for any ship. So the idea of these modules, they follow a pattern. This pattern is that we have a um, connector at the bottom, then uh, a merge block, then a passageway, and then um, gas um, conveyor tubes. But um, here we have the cockpit, so we don't have it here, but we have it in the back. In general, this is uh, a pattern that we, we will be um, looking in all the modules. And this is because um, all the modules will be connecting in those places and um, sharing resources through those connections. So this is the shunting um, module. Then we have the habitat module. And you see that uh, it has the same pattern here. And we explained the last time that this um, this gas uh, tube here, conveyor tube, is used for airlocks. So, for example, the um, this habitat module it doesn't have airlocks because it's only um, keeping people alive, uh, creating a pressurized um, environment. But if you want like an airlock you will attach some other module that is uh, um, in in this case the the shunting module can serve also as uh, airlock inside we um, we have um, the nece all the necessary um, elements like this this tube will connect here to this vent and this vent will will take the the air back to the to the module to the habitat module so but let's continue uh, with the other module so here we have the large propulsion module this this uh, module is used to um, to provide propulsion for a for a spaceship right so as you build your module you will attach this uh, as you build your ship you will need this in the back for example and there are two versions the large that one that we saw there and the small one so this one uses the ion thrusters and this one uses the hydro large hydrogen thrusters and again the same pattern right like um, connector um, merge block passageway and air connection so let's go to the next one this is uh, a basic uh, structure is just a, a large structure with uh, the connections here it doesn't have air because it's not supposed to be pressurized and inside we have um, like these um, ladders um, to be able to move around and at the bottom you can see that we have conveyor blocks all the way so cargo can be transmitted from one end of the structure to the other and then we have this structure here this um, module here that it's called um, the um, it's a, like a cargo um, module it will it will um, carry uh, six modules attached to each of, of its of its 
arms so it's like a, a carrier module and it has inside um, it doesn't it doesn't really um, have uh, any pressurization here you you have to provide atmosphere but you could have an airlock here created with this module inside and uh, the last one this is uh, an airlock module so it's a simple airlock that you can attach to to any any of of anywhere in your in your building so this um, airlock you could attach it to both sides or to one side of the of the habitat module here so it it, it will provide um, access to uh, an exterior atmosphere that is a uh, different pressure than inside so now we can um, see an example java of uh, what you can do with it follow me so these are different creations i have here but with the one i want to show you is this one so here we have um, the shunter right connected to uh, habitat module and here we have an airlock connected to the, the structure here well this 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 um, airlock is uh, is part of the structure this is a, a, a previous model I had but also you, you could have the airlock module instead and then we have the back here we have the the carrier module so it's holding five uh, habitat modules with their airlocks attached so this is like a cluster and this is the advantage of uh, using this hexagonal pattern that you can create these clusters that will um, use space uh, efficiently and in the back we have um, the propulsion module so there we, we have it we can we can um, go inside so here um, you can see that um, in this case I have um, also some controls here and a kitchen inside this is the, the 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 habitat module. Let's close there. Okay, let's continue. That's the habitat module, and now we are into the the structure now. And you see here that um, we can go through the structure. You can use the ladder as well. <coughs> and I will explain why we we have this ladder here. I think I I um, spoke about this in another um, in the other video. And finally, we have the this is the the thruster module. Um, it has this small uh, control station, and this one you can pressurize. This is what we we saw before. This one you can pressurize as well. So. You can have a crew of several engineers. One could go in the back. So what what do you think about this uh, back part there with the station? What would you call that? 
Java. Hmm, the back part, but I just call it. Yes, this back part with this small station, what does it remind you? Does it remind you of something? It's like a caboose, right? What? It's like a caboose in a train. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda like a caboose. Yes. So, so this Yes. <laughs> yes, it's, it's like a fish. Yes. Okay, so this is um, this is our uh, small um, spaceship here we have uh, created. It could be like this is transporting some colonists in in this um, habitat modules, and then. Uh, these habitat modules would be uh, disconnected from the from the ship once they reach their destinations. This is so, uh, an example of what could could be done. And the the reason why um, you see that, for example, if you if you go inside, um, the way I am traveling right now. Is like the downwards direction. You see, everything is oriented like this. Is uh, this would be like the down direction, and it's because um, if we were to attach this um, structure to another one, to a similar one, or to a counterweight and rotate and start rotating it will create uh, a force that will simulate um, gravity right and this would be the down direction you see so uh, people will stand here like this right they will stand like this this will be like that's up that's down and and that's why we have all these um, ladders going uh, in that direction so this ladder would be really helpful if we had that force right so that's the reason of this uh, strange apparently strange um, orientation so that's it for this review, I hope you enjoy the video and see you next time, engineers. Bye! Bye bye, everybody.